Hello, in this video I will talk about some operations of find control action when using Google Chrome. Switch the browser first, find settings and help module, and then click switch browser. Select Chrome browser, but make sure there is a Google Chrome on your computer. When you first switch it, you need to choose the detailed path of your Google browser application on your computer. Click this to switch. Now I'm switching the browser. Close the two pages. Now I'm going to make some preparations. Add a module. Then I add a find control action and a control variable. Add the module. Add find control action. Add variable in variable manager. Variable name. Value type. Take Yahoo website as an example. Click find control to see the action settings. The action settings will be different if you use Google Browser, but still simple steps for you. The first step, we use the function of the browser itself to search the attributes. Google Browser has the function of viewing the source code. If I need this element, right click it, click inspect. The code box will be on the right. The source code you need will be selected automatically. You can also click the arrow symbol here, and then click the element you need. You can still get the source code. Right click on the source code, copy outer HTML, click this button, find control will automatically analyze the source code, and Add the attributes to the condition list. The second step, try to find the element. Found the element. The third step, I will save the element I found to a variable. I save it to the control variable I added. The last step, click save. That's all for the operations of find control when using Google Browser. We can find the element following these steps in the case of 95%, but in rare cases, we may need some other operations. So next, I will explain it in detail. The operations here are the same as the operations in Firefox Browser. They both search the element based on the parent control. Here is the main seek conditions. Seven conditions altogether. For the first four attributes, if the element has any of them, find control will automatically get the value of the element by analyzing the source code and enter the value in the input box. For XPath, it's the path language. We can right click on the source code of the element that we want and copy the XPath and then paste it here. If the element is nested in a net frame, only when you input ID or name or index of the app frame can you find the element you want accurately. Now I try to find the element. I find it. For link text, if you want to find an element with a link, find control will locate the element based on the text of the link. Now I give you an example. Mail and news are both link elements. Now I input a text news. Try to find it. I can find the element. 
for CSS selector. It's similar to XPath. It's also a path language. You can also right-click on the source code of the element and copy the selector. And paste it here. Now try to find it. I still find it. That's all for the seven main seek conditions. Click Delete Selected Condition. You can delete the selected rows. You can still choose the match type here. You can also add the value in the variable to the condition list for enable filter conditions. I have explained the seven main seek conditions. Filter conditions refer to all the conditions in condition list. If you enable filter conditions, find control will filter the result searched by the main conditions according to the conditions in condition list. If you find many different elements, you can use the index to find the element you need. You can also save the index to a variable instead of using element index. That is to say, if you want to use an element, you just need to choose the corresponding number. That's all for the operations of find control when using Google Browser. Thank you for watching.